Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little bit of another game review today. I really enjoyed doing the one earlier on today. We're going to have a little look at a game called Automaton. Um, interesting name. The description says, Lonely, a one-wheeled worker robot begins a journey into the unknown. The game is currently a nominal £7.19, which doesn't seem too much. Um, the game came out on the 3rd of August, so I would say that's still classed as a pretty new game. Currently got three reviews, only one of which actually shows up. Even when I browsed all three, I couldn't see them. So that was interesting, I'm not too sure why. The game is made by Circle Interactive, which uh, appears to be their first game on Steam. So they could be new, or they may not have put anything on here before. So I guess we should get right into it and see what it's like. Alright, got some nice music going on. Uh, looks like I can move him uh, with the Wasad keys. Back, forward. Controls are a little weird, but uh, doesn't matter. That's not going to affect... Well, um, I was about to say it's not going to affect how I feel about the game, but uh, I really take that back now. So let me just see what it's like out of this smaller place. Seems the doors open up automatically on this. Let me just turn up the volume again now. All right, here we go. So that's our little house. I feel like um, wasn't expecting that. Well, I wonder if those are meteorites or whether they're part of a ship. The, the, the turning on this character um, is a little frustrating. Um, he, like, he kind of moves way too quickly. So if you want to go... You've got to be really gentle with tapping the arrow keys. Uh, sorry, the Wasat keys. Uh, the bar on your left corner shows your fuel consumption. Manage with caution. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, best I guess to fire... Guess I best find some fuel somewhere. There's something up there on the hill, so I think we'll go to that. Nice effect on the uh, wheels there with the dust and the trail, and also the texturing is really nice. The impossible is just another barrier to be overcome. Obviously, that's a quote from someone, but I don't know. I don't recognise the quote. Well, the game looks lovely, really nice, and the music is also lovely. We're going to go over to this next little pile on here. I feel like these are leading us somewhere, since that uh, fuel just happened to be next to that one before. So we'll go there, we'll go to that one, and then we'll go to the next one too. It just seems that I can... Uh, just move this. I can't seem to interact with his arms or anything so far. I'm getting some uh, Lifeless Planet vibes from this. It reminds me an awful lot of that. Um, that was a really good game too. I'll also link that in the description. What's that noise? Was that me? Fuel? No, you're not fuel. Looks to me that you can, uh... oh, you see that truck? Maybe that's what that noise was, maybe it was beeping. Oh, you know what, it's actually pretty cool how the wheel goes up and down to correct itself. Uh, let's go inside this building. This looks to be exactly the same as our little house. Maybe these are checkpoints? I mean, to be fair, the description on the game gives almost no sort of hint as to what we can expect from this. I definitely saw a truck. Or at least like a van or something.
That looks like a giant button. You a button? You are. Ah, so this one closes up. Maybe I need to put something heavy on it. Maybe this is that something heavy. Come on. Okay, so E actually brings and picks things up. That's fine. So let's put this on here. Q drops. That's fine too. Oh, this one was just a uh, just a uh, fuel storage. Scorched land. I recognise that name from somewhere. I think I'm going to try and play this for like maybe 10, 20 minutes and see if anything interesting happens. So far, so good. Uh, it's a bit of a walking simulator, but there's clearly the puzzles going on as well, which is great. Oh, look at that. Persistence is the path to success. Oh, these little events look fantastic. The planet doesn't feel so lifeless now. Ah, fuel. Nice. Even though we've seen things, like we've seen that truck, we saw the, the meteorites and the spaceships, I still feel, like, very alone. It's kind of, uh... It's kind of cool how they've nailed this environment, this sort of feel. Uh, looks like we've got another bit of a puzzle here. Anything on the bottom floor? No. I don't like how the camera um, jumps around when it wants you to look somewhere else, because the camera's hitting the building uh, and stuff like that, for example. Hopefully there's some fuel in this one. Uh, there isn't. Uh, not sure what that did. Right, another full one. Uh, which way did we come? We went that way. Well, it appears that I've made a massive mistake in doing what I just did. But let's see if I can uh, see the instructions again. Aha! Right. So it seems that the batteries did serve a purpose. What? What damaged him? Oh, come on. Okay. One more time. This is really difficult. Right, we got one. Was that enough? Is that... Did I do it? Well, the battery's gone from up there. But I still can't get in. Huh. I feel like I might have broke the game. Because there's another pole over there. We did that one over there. Huh. Yeah, I think I broke the game. Can I restart checkpoint? 
Oh, no, I can't. i got to start the game again. I'm not going to do another game. Uh, that would really be good to have a checkpointed system. Uh, and that drone is so difficult to drive. I think we're going to leave that there. I don't think I'm going to waste any more time on this one. So overall, I, I do actually think that game was pretty decent. Um, I would say that the game looks incredible. Um, the music is incredible. The controls aren't so good. The controls for the robot aren't so great. And the control for the drone is really awful, to be honest. Um, however, it's supposed to be a puzzle game. That's that's become quite clear, and it definitely delivers on that side of things. Um, that didn't look hard at all from your side, um, but I promise you that was actually quite difficult. Um, I would say, overall, yeah, really decent. Um, I'd like to see um, some gameplay of this and see if people got further and see if it's any good. I would probably be recommending that you do that before you buy it. Or if you thought what you saw me playing was you know enough to make you uh, want to buy it, then I'll leave the link in the description so you can find the game nice and easy. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful and enjoyable in some way. And if that is the case, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe. Um, that would be great. Uh, or even a comment. I'd love reading my comments from you guys. So we'll leave it there for now. I hope you'll have a great day. Look after yourselves and see you next time.